I'm going to do this by completing the square. This is x4 minus 5x squared. I take half of the minus 5, which is minus 5 halves, and square it, and that would give you 25 quarters. So I'm going to add 25 quarters, and I'm going to subtract 25 quarters. There's still a 1 there, though. Whoops, I said 25, I put 35. Let me might race around. All right, the point of this is this is now a perfect square. And what's that going to be? x squared minus 5 over 2 quantity squared. And then what do you get? Well, let's see. That's going to be minus 21 quarters equals 0. What am I going to do now? I'm going to factor. This is going to be x squared minus 5 halves. And then it's going to be, um, let's see, minus root 21 over 2, and then you get x squared. Uh, let's see what I did. I did something funny here. Oh, no, I didn't do anything funny. Let's keep going. Minus 5 halves plus root 21. This is square. Sorry about that. Over 2 equals 0. And, you know, I think I, I can do something now and I'll tell you what I can do. I can say x squared is equal to 5 plus root 21 over 2. And I can say x squared is equal to 5 minus root 21 over 2. And now I can tell you what x is, although I have a nested root. Let me put this down for you. And I'll write this over here. X equals plus or minus the square root of 5 plus root 21 over 2. X equals plus or minus 5 minus root 21 over 2. All right, I got I to work on those, and I'll, I'll point out what I mean by that. I'm going to say x equals plus or minus. I'm doing this one now. That's going to be 10 plus 2 root 21. Whoops, that's not 21. Over 2. I don't mind the answer, but uh, I want to rewrite it. And what I'm going to do over here is it's a nested root. So I'm going to write this thing out as 10 plus 2 root 21. And I'm going to write this as the root of A plus the root of B. I'm going to square both sides. You get 10 and you get 2 root 21 equals A plus B plus 2 root AB. Well, A plus B is 10, fairly simple to do, and A times B would be 21. I'm kind of looking at that. I, I'm not going to say it's easy, but it's not bad. I'm going to say 3 and 7, all right? So 3 times 7 gives you 21, and 3 plus 7, whoops, I'm sorry about that, that's a 10. So I'm pretty convinced that this is equal to plus or minus. Let's see, I said root 7, root 3, right? Let me see if I did that right. I put a circle on. I'm going to commit to that. And do I see that answer? I see it right here. I want to do the other one. And someone says, what's the other one? This is the other one. So I need to do this one now. Right? And that's going to be x equals plus or minus 10 minus 2 root 21 over 2. And I need to denest that. Let's write that down for you. And again, make an assumption that you can do it. We've done many of these before in the past. So 
So A plus B would be equal to 10, and A times B would be equal to 21. And again, I'm looking at that, and I'm, gonna, I'm still saying 7 and 3. All right, 7 times 3 is 21, 7 plus 3 is 10. i got to be careful, though, because it's not like the addition problem. This is a subtraction problem. So what do I get over there? Let's see. I'd say root 7 minus root 3. And why is that? This is a principal roots positive. So root 7 minus root 3. Let me write that down now. And again, we're dealing with um, this one over here. So x equals plus or minus. Let's go back over here and make sure I understand what I just did. Yep, I get root 7 minus root 3. All over 2. Let's get my red pen out. Remember, we got this one. And now we got this one. All right, we're done. Thank you.